Hi guys. Um, Sunday, just got back um, for the allotment and uh, done loads and loads of, well, I'll say loads and loads, loads of harvesting, loads of tying up tomato plants, etc. etc. Got a bit dark anyway before doing a video, but I'll, um, I'll do a video when uh, tomorrow, basically, when I get a chance to do it. So I can show you what I've done with the tomatoes that are outside. And also I'll show you the sunflowers, which I think have got sunflower blight. And yes, they do get blight. And so I have to whip them out, to be honest. I'm really disappointed in that, but I think it is blight. But um, I also have started some pickling of cucumbers, etc. cetera, to all the gherkins, mainly. Uh, and I've already done some. But um, yesterday I put some in, chopped them all up and put them in, um, sorted them, etc. And uh, the moisture out of it. Now, this is how much moisture has come out of one. A few gherkins, shall we say. If I move it down here, look how much water has come out of these. I mean, you are going to be joking. So anyway, I'm going to uh, do those now um, and uh, come back to you possibly tonight or tomorrow where I'll put these in pickling jars. I have got pickling jars. Um, we'll see what I can do. Cheers, guys. Bye. Hi, Bye, guys. I'm back again. So, pickling jars. Slide them all in. They're very watery. They're not watery. They dry out a bit. We'll try it. I'm going to try the ones again a couple of weeks ago and see what they taste like. They're a bit more slimy or horrible, but anyway. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We don't have pickles out, we can all say. But, um, Salmon, I've got um, so unreal. <clears throat> okay. Mouth on the floor. So I'm really going to worry about one slice considering the amount I've got left to do. Gets me. You take the, uh, you put the salt in to get rid of all the uh, 
some more pickle in things. We don't use so, like uh, pickled things. We don't mind that. Uh, in fact, pickled beetroot I used to hate as a kid. But I think that's just because I used to uh, have the stuff that's bought. And there's nothing the same as uh, home pickled stuff. It's just totally different. I don't think I can fit any more bits in here. I'm going to get the last few. <laughs> so many seeds are left. I don't think I need some. There's so many more growing. So anyway, so there you go. There's four there ready to be pickled off the pickling juice and all the rest of it. So that's where I'm at now. Ah, that's better. So this one, <coughs> sorry, is <coughs> 372 grams. Now, is that the right unit for everybody? I'm not too sure. I'll, I'll lose touch now. So that's, that's nearly a pound. That's It's 16 ounces to a pound, isn't it? So that's 13 ounces. Should we carry ca on with the ounces or shall I do both? We can always convert it. So let's stay with ounces. So that's that one. That's a lovely. Oh, that is the best I've grown for years. Um, and we'll do the next one, which I think is a bit, it's about the same size. It might be a bit higher. I think this might be, oh no, 11, no, oh, 11 ounces. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god. One pound four ounce. <laughs> um to say that's the biggest tomato I've grown so far, uh would be an understatement. And I'm just laughing because the ones I've got down the allotment, honestly, they're pff, even bigger than that of the same variety. So I'm well impressed. So shall we go for let's not I'm not gonna do all of them, or shall I do I don't know. This shed wars thing, I'm getting confused. I don't know why I've been but eight ounces. So uh, they're all about eight ounces, aren't they? That's six, this is probably about four. Well, that's five. What's that one? That's seven ounces. That's six. That's a nice one. That's seven. Nearly eight. That one there. Again, same size as that. That's seven. This one, I'm trying to fit the, the, the right to this. I can't move off the way, like I said. So the, the traditional round one with no blemishes on. A little dot, did say it will do. That's a beautiful tomato. That's a that's a lovely um a lovely tomato for a nice fresh salad. Um what's that one? It's three ounces. So basically, um let me rearrange them. Um, uh, 
And he says, let's have a rock. I'll put that on there. It's just rest it on there. I'll try and be really, very delicate with these so they don't rest on an edge. <coughs> I'll move them all up. Let the big boys sit there. So, yeah, so I've got those, and I've got these smaller ones, which are a plastic bag. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably the white way. That's probably it. Let's see. Oh, I can't really. I'll get more in a big lump in the middle of it. Only that put any pressure on there. Which I'm not. There's about a pound and a bit, one point, say one point two ounce, which is great. I've got no more corsets in here. Besides, how's it doing? Rhubarb, that's about thirty pound of rhubarb of pits. Loads more gherkins there. Got to finish all these off. So not a bad harvest. I'm really dead chuffed with those. Um, I, I want to eat one now. Do you know what? I'm going to slice one of these up. And I'm going to have it with some um, sliced up... Um, what, um, not mozzarella. Is it? No, it is mozzarella, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mozzarella. Like the good old Italians do. Slice it up and put it on a plate. And I'm gonna go and sit upstairs, watch TV for half an hour and chill out. But there you go. That's for shed wars for my little humble um allotment site in the UK. Um and thanks guys for all the nice comments you've been making about um my site. Uh it's really much appreciated, especially in this particular year. Um it's been um, at times very hard for me to carry on doing certain things um, to which regular viewers will know about, um, about the passing of my father and, and my music career and the rest of it. Um, it's much appreciated, it really is. Um, it does help um, me carry on, if you know what I mean, doing my allotment and, uh, and other things as well. Um, I hope that uh, you're all, all safe and uh, you're looking after one another. Uh, I was going to do a few shout outs. My brain's gone completely squidgy now. I mean, I, I, I've met so many people. I think I think the one of the, the one of the one of the shout outs um, will be the one that's really influenced me on doing things like this. And I hope I get this right, which is I think it's the 1870 Homestead. Uh, which is brilliant. Um, absolutely love um, the content. Um, and I love the, the canning aspect of it. I, f I think that's, a, like I said, I think I've said it before. No, I think that must be an, an American y kind of North America, can that, that kind of thing, um, canning things. Um, yes, I've pickled stuff, but the canning aspect of canning carrots and canning potatoes, and I've never done that. Um, I don't think we tend to do that a lot over here in the UK, um, but I'm really intrigued on it, and so I've done some more research on it, and I am thinking of doing some canning aspect of it and fill my pantry up. Um because I can't keep it, I can't eat all this. I'm a single bloke. Um, my daughter's at university, um, and obviously I'm looking after my mom, so to speak, as well. So um, that 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 aspect is is been quite really quite useful. Um, so there you go. I think I've finished now. I'll stop boring you now to tears. Oh no, I can't. I forgot to tell you about this. Oh, more tomatoes. Now, for people in the UK, definitely, or Europe, shall we say, um, these particular containers, and I will say, other suppliers are readily available. 
That's uh, Almaty's um, from, uh, that's an Aldi product, so to speak. Aerial is Aerial Aerial. Uh, my mum obviously has these. I, I don't use these because uh, she does my washing for me. Yes, I'm, I'm not lazy. It's just one of those things when I uh, separated from my wife. Um, I am, I've got a uh, washing machine, etc. on order. Um, so my mum's always done it. Well, not always done it. She's done it for a few years. Because um, my dad always used to tell me, don't for God's sake, take that uh, responsibility off her because she loves doing it. And that's what mums do. Um, but what I did do when I bought these on lockdown for her and the rest of it, I said, please keep the containers because they are absolutely brilliant for keeping produce in or not keeping produce in, but collecting it in. I'm going to try and do this one, Andy, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll come back to you. 